Hi, Amy of AJ's Vintage Designs and Shop Couture here. I wanted to do a quick project. I got in a bunch of stencils, but there's one stencil I really wanted to do today. Um, it's well loved. I've used it a few times. It's, <laughs> but it shows that it's reusable. It's, it's seen better days. It's, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be doing this one today. Bless our nest. And I've already started, but my camera the battery died, so the only thing I have on it is a branch. So I put the branch on it, but I got this big long tin sign. It has little hangers in the back uh, to, to hang on the wall, and I have the branch on it, and that's all. So I wanted to do this project with you, and um, it should be fun. I'm gonna hang this one up, I think, down at our farmhouse, or I might be selling it. I haven't decided yet, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as you see, the branch is right here, and I'm going to put the Bless Our Nest right here. I'm going to put that down right here. Let's see? My hands are covered in brick-colored paint right now. Okay. Now, when you put it on a shiny surface like this, you're going to want to do what's called fuzzing. And what that is, is you take your transfer off of the sheet. I probably won't have to do this because like I said, this has been well loved and so it's not very sticky anymore. But to fuzz it, you would just put it off onto a towel, get a layer of fuzz on it or lint because if it's too sticky, it's really hard to pull up off of a shiny surface or a painted surface. So if you've painted this and even if you have a top coat on it, you're gonna wanna fuzz this because it'll be so sticky that you, you don't want to risk pulling up your paint or what is it, whatever's on your, your surface. Okay, now this isn't very sticky at all because the more you use them, the less sticky they get. Um, but by putting Lysol on them, it kind of rejuvenates the stickiness. But right now, I like them when they're, they're like this. This is, for me, this is perfect because I can move them around. If you have a transfer that's just, you know, really sticky and it's hard for you to deal with, uh, wash it. Let it dry and just wash it a few times just to kind of help out with it if it's too sticky. Okay, I'm gonna do this in black because on tin, the only things, that, only things that really show up on tin are dark colors. I had done this previously. I had already cleaned off this whole tin sign. I did this in mint. Um, mint and white and it didn't even show up so I had to wipe it clean and I started over so I'm starting over now I'm gonna be doing this in black okay first thing you do wipe that off and you're gonna want to stir I just buy popsicle sticks I know you're not supposed to use popsicle sticks if you can find anything that's wood or plastic that's better because the wood soaks up some of the water out of your chalk. And if your chalk gets dry, um, in your container, just spray some water in it, spray a little bit of water just to rejuvenate it. Okay, put that there. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Bless Our Nest. I'm gonna swipe some black over it. Just dipping it in. Making sure all the open parts of the screen print get saturated with the black paste. And with these paste, you do have to move quickly because if you let the chalk dry on your transfer, when you pull the transfer up, it will pull the paste up as well. So you'll either need to have a wet, damp paper towel nearby if, if you work, you know, too slow to the point where your chalk starts to dry. So this is kind of like a speed thing. You gotta, you gotta move quickly. That's why for big transfers, you wanna cut them down and make them a little bit smaller and more manageable. Because nothing's worse than putting all the time into uh, make it a sign and then having one section dry and pull up on you and then you gotta wipe it clean and start over. So I'm moving quickly, just making sure all the sections are of the screen print are filled in. Let's 
scrape some off from another section. A little goes a long ways. These little containers will last quite a few signs. Pull off any extra because if you can save any of it to re reuse it, that's even better. Okay, put that in water. Put my lid back on. You want to make sure the lids are always on these when you're not using them. And then peel up. Pull straight up. right into the water. I've got a dish of, uh, this a little baking dish of water next to me so that I can put the, the transfer in it right away. That's how you're gonna be able to use them multiple times is if you keep, keep them clean. If you let the chalk paste dry in the screen transfer itself, then it'll ruin the transfer. So I'm gonna let that soak while I move on to the next section. I already have the tree branch on there. So let's go ahead and move you to the next section. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a bird's nest on here. Little nest, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this in multiple colors. I've never used this nest yet, so I'm going to have to fuzz it. And I think I'm gonna trim it down a little bit too. It's not as big. Okay, I just trimmed it down to make it smaller. The hardest part about this is if you don't have if you don't have fingernails, trying to peel them off their backing. Okay, now I'm going to, as you can see in this corner over here, I'm gonna fuzz it. Because it's new. And this is a shiny surface, so it does stick to it really, really well. So I'm gonna fuzz it a couple times. I think these transfers almost work better the more they've been used. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna place this as if it's sitting on the tree. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna do multiple colors. I'm gonna kind of splash a few colors on here. I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some brick and I'm gonna do some tan. We'll see how it turns out, I'm not quite sure. But it's fun to play. I already pre-stirred these. Okay, get my little squeegee. And I'm just gonna dab like splotches all over it. of the brick. Okay. I'm gonna use the other part of the squeegee. I'm gonna sp splash some cream in there. Don't wanna use too much because you can't recycle this back into your container because it will contaminate it with colors. Okay. So I've got some colors blended all together there. So let's drag them across. See how that turned out. You can't save this because like I said, it's a mix of colors, so you don't want that back in your container. So just wipe it off in some paper towels, throw it in water, and pull up. Oh, 
Oh, I like it. Okay, let me show you. You see that? It's got a little mixture of colors in there. Okay, now I just need to put the bird on. Okay, the bird has been used before, so I'm not sure if I really need to fuzz it, but. sticky. Okay, I got my lids back on. Okay, and the bird, I think I'm going to do in white just because pastels don't really show up. So I'm going to do it in white. Okay, I'm going to have the bird kind of looking like it's flying towards the nest. Like it's getting ready to land. Oopsie, I don't want to be on top of that chalk though because it's so wet. Okay. Get the air bubbles out. And I got some paint on there but for my fingers. Oh well. Hopefully it just adds character. Let me see if I add another color on top, if that works. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't want it to dry any. It looks like the bird's been wounded because I had chalk on my finger and the chalk got on the stencil, the chalk from the bird's nest. I will go back and touch that up with some, I'll take a paintbrush and paint some chalk on there. So let me show you this, what I've got so far. Okay, so this is what I got so far. This is Bless Our Nest. It turned out good. The Bless Our Nest, there we go. The little bird flying into a nest. Kinda needs something in that open spot, but I can't figure out what. But I think it'll look good. Okay, so that's on 10. Okay, so that was just a quick little project. I'm gonna touch up that poor little bird where I had <laughs> chalk on my finger. So I will touch that up with a paintbrush. I'll use the chalk paste at the paintbrush and go over it so you can't see it. <laughs> but I actually had already done a sign on this tin previously, but the colors didn't show up. And all I had to do is take some water and a rag, I wiped it clean, let it dry, and I started over. I got several new transfers in. I bought um, several new ones. They did a new release on February 5th. And then they did another release on February 15th. I got, I just got the shipment today for the stuff that I got, uh, they ordered on the 5th. I got the inks. So now instead of having to use inks, you know, and experiment with inks that like I talked about in my last video, Chalk Couture actually has inks now so that you can do your transfers on fabric, on glass, on tile, and you can heat set them to make them permanent. So that is fantastic. I don't have to worry about experimenting with fabric paints and seeing if it works. They came out with a product that actually is gonna work with it. Um, so that is new as of February. And if you're thinking about joining, um, like I said, the price is $99 and you get $230 worth of product. And also for $19.99 uh, a month, I think it is right now, you get your website. They host your website so that your sales can go all through that website, which is, makes it a lot easier. And it's a great website. They updated the website as well. So if you're interested in um, transfer, you can click on the picture and it pops up and it'll show you the transfer, a picture of a finished product using that transfer, and then a silhouette of a person holding a sign that is the size of that transfer. So you have a better visual image of what size the transfer is. 
Um, so that is really nice now too. They've, they've made everything a lot more user friendly. But, or if, you, if you're not interested in joining the team and, and doing a business, if you just want to be doing some projects and making your, some signs for some friends and family, then go ahead and go to my link down below, ajsvintagedesigns.chocouture.com. Uh, go there and you can shop for your favorite transfers and your color chalk paste and then watch videos so you, you know how to properly use it. I showed you right here, if you make sure that um, if you are doing it on a painted surface, make sure that painted surface has been sealed before you work on a painted surface. Um, so, you know, make sure if you're doing like a design on a piece of furniture, make sure you have your top coat on first or a, a layer of top coat on it and it's been sitting for 24 hours. Then put your transfer on it and you can work from there. Um, and then to make it permanent, you want to use a spray. If you're using the chalk pastes, you want to use a spray top sealer. A spray top sealer will seal it in to make it permanent. But if you do a brush on a top sealer, with the, if you're using the chalk paste, it will move the paste. So, uh, because you know, it is a temporary. So that's why you want to spray it to make it permanent and you're not using a brush you know, to, to move it along. I hope that makes sense but um yeah and so i'm fuzzing it before you use it to make sure you, you kind of reduce the stickiness uh, so it doesn't peel up any of your paint on your surface um, use a you know a towel that you know is very linty <laughs> or has lots of fuzz on it um, go ahead and fuzz your transfers on that before you put it on a painted surface or any surface that um, has been coated uh, whether it be with paint um, sometimes whitewash or stain, anything like that. Just make sure it has a top coat on it first, just so the stickiness of the transfer doesn't pull up whatever it is that's on that surface. Hope that makes sense. Um, making sure that you clean your transfers the minute you use them. After you get done, you pull them off, and I've got my little dish of water right here. Put them in water right away. Make sure your lids are on your chalk so you don't dry out. If they start to get dry, put some water in them. Make sure they're very well stirred, because when you first get them, um, you need to stir them really well to get them mixed up and so that it turns into kind of like a, a pudding type um, consistency. When it comes to you, it's going to be a little bit harder. It might be more of a mousse type consistency, but the more you stir it, the more it whips it up and turns it into that, that consistency that you need. And if it doesn't do that, then, you know, it's winter, so sometimes these might have been out in the cold uh, when they're being delivered. Just add a, a, spritz of little, uh, a spritz of water in them, stir them up, and they're good to go. Okay, well this is my project for today, is bless our nest with my poor little bird over there. But I think that's so cute and um, it's got the little hangers back here so it'll just hang right on the wall. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but it's right behind me. I painted my entire wall. I'm in my new craft room. I'm not completely decorated in here yet, but it's now functioning. But I painted an entire wall with chalkboard paint uh, so now I can play as much as I want what I did is I did one coat uh, horizontally uh, or horizontally and then one coat verti vertically two coats um, and then I let it dry for three days then I seasoned it I don't know if I needed to season it or not but I thought better safe than sorry I took chalk and just rubbed chalk over the whole thing let that sit for three days <laughs> And then I just wiped off the chalk. It's a little streaky right now. I have to wipe it off again. But now I have an entire wall that is nothing but a giant chalkboard. Here, let me show you what I did to the corner. So you see my whole wall is a giant chalkboard. And then up in the corner, I was experimenting. I have my little chalk couture logo up there. But, this is, I mean, this will be fun. I'm going to be able to decorate my whole wall whenever I want. And there's my little workstation. So I got it all set up. Oh, and then another helpful hint is keep Lysol wipes, uh, Lysol or Clorox wipes, doesn't matter, uh, close by because after you get done rinsing off your stencils in water, you wipe them down with the, uh, this and it kind of, it gets it extra little bit of you know chalk paste off that might be in the screens it gets it off but then it also reactivates the sticky side of your transfer let it completely uh let your transfer completely dry and then when you put it back on their little sheets you can look at it one side is kind of matte and the other side is really glossy 
make sure your transfer goes back on the glossy side. If you put it on the matte side, you're not gonna get it back off. You're gonna wanna make sure you put it on the glossy side. So I think I gave you um, several of the tips. I've given you in other videos, but just in case you're only catching this video, I wanna make sure you know all the um, things that you need and the tips that you need to be able to have a successful project. But there you go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. I just wanted to get a quick project in here and we'll catch you next time. Okay, I hope you have a great day.